Hey y'all, it's Empress here and I'm back with another video. Come join me as we tap into the energy. Let's see what's going on. Somebody has been left out in the cold for some time. They maybe they've been coming back for some time. Mm -mm. After waiting for a while, for a long while. Marriage maybe with this lover, a Mr. Lover Lover. I don't know what's going on with my shopping list today, but I don't like the these lovers may have had a spiritual awakening. They may have triggered each other into a spiritual awakening. Yeah. And now they can see the big picture of what's going on around them. They triggered some gifts. Maybe at these that these people, this, that these lovers had. Why I can't talk? I'm gonna throw it away. <laughs> Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Ancestors, you are welcome here. Holy Spirit, ancestors, angels, archangels, and spirit guides, I wish to see us walk the highest path for our greatest good. Allow me to tap into the energy. Tell me some stuff I need to know. Give me some insight on what I should focus on. Thank you. this lover on this love this spiritual love right, that's good that's what's going on Holy Spirit allow me in the energy tell me some stuff give me some insight talk to me talk to me talk to me baby what's going on and the lover's card jumping out with the star card at the bottom of the deck so peace love balance yeah yeah you can't make it up oh my oh my goodness why are you making me smile like that yes three club cups at the bottom of the deck celebration stop being goofy and I love that for them what else is going on Holy Spirit I don't know why I'm so cheesy <laughs> we love a good um, love story and I'm sending you a four page letter And I enclose it with a kiss And when I write him, he better get it on time You can't make it up. We got the three of cups jumping out with the, with the hangman. There's going to be a celebration 
these lovers are all coming together this spiritual awakening has happened someone has gained a new perspective from it okay some self-awareness they gain some wisdom some intelligence about something don't get me don't get me in my bed <laughs> don't get me in my bed okay and i love that what else is going on Holy spirit like dang give me a chance child <laughs> Get it on time. Someone was able to read between the lines about um, who this person is to them. What's supposed to happen? Look, we got the we got the four of wands underneath the lover's card. So um, yeah, this person is able to read between the lines about who this lover is and what is supposed to be taking place. So they released something. They said, go ahead and get, get to get. They walked away from this, um, from this and ended something with that 10 of swords at the bottom, um, at the bottom of that, this 10 of swords. Confirmation with that 10 of wands, they have released the burdens that no longer, uh, belong to them, that no longer, uh, serve them. And they're ready to live in their full, empathetic, understanding, nurturing self. They're ready to um, collaborate, come together with people who are like-minded. We also have 10-10 on here, 10 of swords, 10 of wands. Okay, so 10-10 may be significant. This person may be going to, to toward this high priestess with a message, okay? Because they are seeing that this person is spiritually connected, intellectual, balanced, um, emotionally intelligent, full of knowledge, okay? Thank you, Holy Spirit. So they have been working on themselves, and I love that. For, I love that for them. You know, you know it's real when somebody start working on themselves. Okay, you know it's real when somebody's like, "Let me look at, let me check myself." You feel me? People may be fighting about this. There may be some haters, some haters afoot. Okay, but we don't care. We still bringing in a message of love. We still bringing in a, that message of wanting happiness. And we will still be moving forward toward what we want. We won't get what we want. Okay? Why would I settle for less when I can get exactly what I want? <laughs> yeah. Like that, though. Like that, though. Yeah, this person is going to travel forward, travel, move away from this battle that they have been in. That these karmics are trying to put on this person. They want to fight about this person working on themselves, having a spiritual awakening, and wanting better for their life. That's weird. That's how you know that, um, oh. Archangel Michael was on the bottom of the deck. He's here to kick some ass. Ass? Okay? But that's how you know somebody ain't no good for you. Like, why would you be upset that I'm awakened? Someone is trying to control you. What else is going on, Holy Spirit? This person to be they're moving away from this energy they wanted this person to be stuck bound blinded trapped isolated upset that this person is moving toward their desires moving forward so they're traveling forward they're traveling interruptions so maybe this person is constantly being interrupted 
Um, but so this person is traveling toward this empress after feeling bound, blinded, and in isolation. But this is the perfect time for you to learn how to listen to self. Okay, they're gonna come in with this message um, for this empress. How um, the confirmation with that Knight of Cups and that Two of Wands, they're planning something. They're planning to come in with this message um, about how they feel, about what they want, about something emotional. What else is going on, Holy Spirit? Yeah, they want new beginnings. They want to take a leap of faith. That's what it is. They want to take a leap of faith. And move forward. Allow their passions to move them forward be less fearful of how they feel i'm hearing this person stuffs their in this stuff they stuff down their emotions like they don't want to feel their emotions they're afraid to feel their emotions but they will be given strength by the most high ashe ashe to defend themselves, to stand up for what they want. I'll say, I'll praise be to the most high. Oh, and we got a karmic queen of wands, child. Every reading that I get about this karmic witch bitch, I'm telling you, she pop out as the queen of wands in reverse, a karmic queen of wands. Trying to be something that she's not. Trying to cloak herself in some energy that she's she she copying off of somebody. She's copying off a divine feminine. She is copying off a divine feminine. Trying to take her energy signature is what I'm hearing. Trying to imitate a divine feminine's energy signature, but you can't. Like y'all know y'all like. Y'all karmics gotta know. Well, maybe y'all don't know. Someone tell you. You cannot imitate, duplicate, recreate any in energy energy signature of a divine person, period. Okay? Because you're a karmic. And until you do your shadow work, until you heal your traumas, you're stuck, buddy. Yeah, until you have that spiritual way, until you call on the most high, you're stuck. But of course, they don't want to put in no work. Why would they? You got the world card at the bottom of the deck. Maybe this person thinks highly of themselves. Like, oh, I got this in the bag. Maybe they try and block. Trying to stop something from happening. They can't stop nothing that the most high has for anyone. They can hinder it, but best believe it's coming back tenfold. Everything that they have done to this, to these lovers or to anybody in general. They go, they're going to see the, this, these lovers, this divine union, this divinely protected union in this energy, in this Ten of Pentacles energy. It's going to drive them nuts. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? What did I say? Maybe this karmic was trying to stop somebody's uh, somebody's destiny. They were trying to stop somebody's fortune. Somebody's. They were trying to stop a prophecy. But every attempt that they made against someone or these this couple. Um, it failed. It only caused them to reevaluate themselves and to grow from the experience. So, like, you in turn just push this person or these people closer to the most high, 
which is what he wanted. Thanks. Gotta thank the haters too. What else, Holy Spirit? This Queen of Wands, right? Let me tell y'all about this. I listen. I just keep getting. I just keep getting that this karmic female smells deplorable. Okay, they need to actually instead of being focused on this divine feminine or this divine masculine, they need to go to the doctor and evaluate themselves. You paying all that money for spell work? You going to the uh? To the, uh, to the, um, person who does spell work. <laughs> You're giving them all your money. You need to go to the doctor and give them your money because something doesn't smell right. And I know you smell it. It's giving yeast, hot box, skunk, fish pot. <laughs> I don't know why I just gave up. Listen, go take care of yourself. Okay. But anyway, this Queen of Wands, it's facing karma, okay? We have the Six of Swords coming out in reverse. So this person has lack of progress. They're moving very slowly. They're, they're unstable. They're losing their shit, okay? They're losing their shit because this divine masculine or feminine, take what resonates because energies are fluid, is moving forward toward their divine counterpart. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, because this person broke their heart. Two of Cups. This ex-lover, this ex, um, this ex-partner who was supposed to be pouring into this person actually ended up just siphoning, siphoning, siphoning. It was only one, one, it was a one-way street. It was a one-way street for somebody, okay? They could be mad that this person is moving forward to this Two of Cups energy because they found out that they were betrayed. Yeah, and they're moving on to stability. Confirmation bird. Excuse me. They know that this person is moving on to stable mindedness, stable emotions, and stable path, a stable path ahead of them. They see that this person, look at all these interruptions. Look at all these interruptions. It's not even funny. This person's, person's passions, um, have them moving forward, have them rushing forward. And this karmic don't like that. They don't like that. I'm hearing this, um, this divine uh, masculine was their stability. So they were being they were they were using this divine mask. They didn't really have any feelings for this divine masculine. They had ill intentions toward this divine masculine. They just wanted them to be trapped. They wanted a little puppet. Like, hey, give me the money for this. Go ahead and pay for this. Yeah, pay for my homegirl too. And her homegirl. This was this divine masculine was this karmic queen of wands. I don't want to say slave. It was their stability. He he was her stability. And that's why she doesn't want him to plan to move on to emotional fulfillment. She knows if he's emotionally fulfilled, she's done. It's a wrap. It's a wrap for you, baby. Even after this heartbreak, even after this betrayal, this person's still going to gain stability, 
still going to receive emotional happiness, still planning to move forward and still gain res restoration of their mind. And this karmic Receiving the karma. Oh, stop playing. Receiving karma tenfold. Do you hear me? Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. As I'm saying this, this, this karmic is receiving karma tenfold. Can't move nowhere. Stuck. The same way that they wanted this divine masculine to be. They are. Spell work has been broken off, okay? All praise be to the most high. Spell work has been broken off. Collaborations are here. Like-mindedness. Emotional fulfillment. True love. Spiritual love. Do you hear me? Somebody has awakened up. Awakened? Someone has awakened. Praise be to the most high. Now these karmics are quitting. Seven of wands in reverse. Justice is at the bottom of the deck. Listen. Most high don't play about his chosen. Whether you know it or not, there's a reason you always got out of some shit that you was not supposed to be in. There's a reason that that spell work worked, but it didn't take you out. There's a reason. The most high does not play about you. Justice is here. And the most high allowed it to work to wake you up. But I'm hearing this person was not, um, they weren't listening to their intuition. They weren't listening to themselves. They weren't listening to the messages that they were receiving due to lack of outside validation. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Validate yourself, baby. They feel like they missed out on an opportunity by the most high. So they coming in with a message. Confirmation. Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Okay, last pass. Mm -hmm. This Queen of Wands knew that this, this this divine masculine was intellectual and resourceful. They had a lot of resources. They were using this person, which is why they wanted them to, to be trapped and bound. They wanted to um, utilize them as like their own little bank account. <sighs> this divine masculine they knew, they know, or they knew, they know that this divine masculine has a hard time expressing themselves emotionally. And they used it against them. This King of Pentacles, yes, this divine masculine, they know that this person can create new money very easily. And since they have gained control over their mind, over their thoughts, and some wisdom, some self-evaluation, this karma can't even sleep. Because this person is more motivated, more confident in themselves. 
they, they want to do things that they are unexperienced and they're more willing to do to bring in a message of love to express themselves more vulnerably yeah they found out the way that they were brought up learning or the way that this karmic made them to feel was ineffective and it actually in turn had people stealing from them had people lying to them deceitful using them so they had to go ahead and reevaluate themselves and it's taken some time but now they are ready this emperor this aries this divine masculine they, they want this queen of swords they want this divine feminine who speaks clearly authentically is herself protective i'm hearing protective yeah they, because they know they're gonna have victory with this queen They're going to level up to become better. No longer in depression because they blocked out the world and gained some balance after seeing the big picture. They've gained a new thought process. They've gained new desires. Child. I'm gonna just let y'all know straight up. Y'all can, you cannot hold somebody against their will. That's weird, okay? I need y'all to know this. <laughs> I need y'all to know this, okay? That spell work, that witchcraft that you're trying to perform is no longer effective. We are in the year of eight. I don't know if y'all know, this is the year for karma. This is the year that all of the darkness is going to be brought to light. This is the year that the Most High is going to send back everything that y'all put out, okay, on innocent people. This, this divine masculine is innocent, um, heart-wise. I'm not saying that they've never done anything wrong. But I'm saying heart-wise. They may have done some, some, some things because of this karmic queen of wands who had them bound or isolated. Basically controlling this person. Controlling their mind. Controlling what they see, how they feel, where they go. I'm hearing, listen, <laughs> I was talking to my homegirl. She was telling me how this um, crazy couple that she knows, the the shorty monitor monitors the man in the shower to make sure he don't spank his monkey. She's keeping tabs on that semen. Do you hear me? You can't. It's only going to work for a time. It's only gonna work for a time and then you're fucking done. And I honestly, I hope that you are ready for all of this shit that you put out. I hope you're ready for it to come back and smack you in your face. It's coming back to kick your ass. And if you sent out a whole bunch, baby, just be prepared for a whole bunch to come back. Weird energy, work on yourself. Stop trying to keep people hostage. You are not the God. You are not the most high. You cannot play with people's lives. You don't have control over people that way. Okay? Get some help. <laughs> Get some help. And, and, and go find a job or something. Like, go find a hobby. Create money yourself. You're lazy and you stink? Come on. <laughs> Get it together. You ought to heal your body. You have to heal your heart. Whatsoever you sow, you will reap. Get it together. Okay. Well... <laughs> 
thank you guys so much for joining me i hope you enjoyed this video empress out mm -hmm.